for him. You know, I, I am really happy for him that he's going, you know, that he's going to get back out there. I've told him that this is what he should do. You know, I mean, I'm half his age. I live hundreds of miles away. Um, and, you know, I, I don't see, you know, between me and you, I, I don't see what I'm supposed to think that I'm getting out of this situation with him besides getting yelled at on a regular basis. But, I mean, I think that, you know, it's, I think for him, what would be best is for him to go out with this girl who he's who he's talking about, and that's me saying this to you, not as someone who wants to go out on dates. That's me saying this as a person who's looking at it objectively. What's best for him in his situation is to be dating girls who are there. We know that this is how he would be if he were to drink, and so I mean, it's you know, it's. It's completely legal. Larry, don't let her disappear to how he will be. The problem is what? you're listening to a therapist that does not uh, that doesn't know shit about me. Lauren, and you're trying to put to shit in your mute. head. Lauren. He's trying to put shit in your head about me because he saw me a fucking loser to somebody that he's getting personal with that he's not supposed to be getting personal with. Wait, so I, I, no, I no ethics at all. But I can't really understand what he's saying got a bad connection. Yeah. Hey, maybe you ought to try giving me a call. Six, wait, six, 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 six. Maybe you ought to try giving me a call. I still don't understand. Giving him calls? I, I he don't wants understand. You to, he wants you to give him a call. Maybe he should think about the fact that there's probably a reason why I didn't call him. Yeah, because of the therapist? No, because I didn't want to talk to you. I had therapy. Yeah, and because, you're, because you're a fucking therapist. It has nothing That's to do with right. the therapist. Laura, it has nothing to do with the therapist. It has everything to do with you. It has everything to do with you cheating on me with that piece of shit. That's what it has to do with. Laura, if I've cheated on you, why don't you find someone who won't cheat on you? If if you're going to say I've cheated on you, why don't you find someone who won't cheat on you, if that's what you're saying? Why don't you just not cheat on me? Lauren, I... The only thing I've ever asked for you is to not, never go on dates with other guys. And you've done it. First of all... Why would you do it? First of all... And why would you tell me how pale perfect this therapist is? And he doesn't even act like a therapist. First of all, are you wearing the headset... But I can't really understand what you're saying all that much. Well, they call me. What? Call me. I'm on the phone with you. You can't understand what I'm saying. If you were to call me directly, you'd be able to understand what I'm saying. Lauren, take the headset off and I could understand you. So I take the headset off and I take the phone away from the window where it gets a good signal. Lauren, just take the Hang on. Off, Hang on. Can you hear me any better? Yeah. Lauren, I have to... The problem that we're having head. is that you're going out with this therapist. Well, it has nothing to you do with the therapist. The therapist has a lot to do with it. That's where my problem you started from. Lauren, because of, because of this therapist. You brought the therapist in. Lauren, first of all, my parents did. Second of all... Lauren, I would rather be single than to have to deal with this kind of nonsense on a daily basis. You screaming, cursing, well, being controlled. Well, not that I deal with this, you know, this shit on a daily basis. If you just stop it with these other guys. That's all I've right. asked for you and for you to do. Stop it with these other guys so that I don't get jealous or I don't have anything to worry about. But you're you constantly making me worry about, about this and, stuff. Lauren, you've been jealous of TV shows friends in Texas, female friends in Texas, and 96-year-old grandma. That was back then. I'm a whole different person now, but you wouldn't know because you haven't been spending time with me. You know why? Because you've been spending your nights up all night talking to whoever, but it certainly wasn't any time with me. Yeah. You know, you haven't known me for the last two months. Lauren, go on your date and have fun. I if you go over this therapist's house, if you go over this therapist's house, I'm not going to want a thing to do with you. 
Because it'll just mean you cheated on me again. Lauren, go on your date. You have a date. Go on your date. Are you planning to go over to the pastor's house? I was not going to go until I found out that you have a date, and then I said, well, I have a date, I don't, too. I don't want to go on this date. I want us to be back well, together and to talk. So we can get this shit straightened out. Lauren, go on That's what I want. No, I'm not going, I'm not going on the date. Lauren, go on the date. I'm not going on the date. You can go on your date, Lauren. I said no, I'm not going on the date. Lauren, just go and have fun. You're very excited about it. Go on it. No. I'm not going on the date. Well, that's on you. I don't know why you're going to cancel on someone on the last minute. Because. My loyalty is to you. Your loyalty is not to me when you've already scheduled the date. Go on it, though. Don't cancel on the last minute. I've never... But I, when I made the date, at, at least we were broken up. We weren't still together. I'm not going on the date. Well, maybe you okay, should okay. call Jen and, and cancel the date right now on three-way. That way Ramona knows you're serious. What? That's a good idea. What? What Emma just said. That's a very good idea. No, I didn't hear what she said. I get people on my phone. I get to take that blow test in about 15 minutes. I said Emma, that. Um, uh -huh. I know. I muted myself. I said you should just call Jen on three-way and cancel your date so Ramona knows you're serious. Well, I don't have idea. Jen's number. I, I get a call. Tony, and, Tony has to call her. Tony knows her. Well, why don't you get Tony to give her the number and you cancel the date on three-way. Call Tony right now on three-way. We'll meet ourselves. Get the number and then call Jen on three-way and we'll meet ourselves again and you can cancel your date. Yeah, because if I'm on the phone with you, all night, you're going to know that I'm not on the date. No, but if you have the date, then call her, cancel it, so that I know that you're serious. And then I'll stay home and talk to you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not putting Jen on. I'm not going to do that to Jen. She has no idea about anything. No, she, she, all she'll know is that you're just canceling the date. You're not feeling well. You know, we're not going to say anything. You know we're not going to say anything because you've done it with your mom. So we're not going to say anything. You can call her and cancel. That way I know that you're serious and that you're serious about not going out with her, and then I'll stay home and I'll talk to you. <laughs> I don't know her number. Then if Tony has her number, call Tony on three ways and we'll meet ourselves. Get the number from Tony and then call her. All right, let me hang up and call Tony. No, just call, her, call him on three way. Call him on three way. No, just Tony, you don't know anything about this either. <laughs> what? Tony don't know anything about this either. I'm not going to put a, I'm not gonna put a bunch of people through this shit. Lauren, 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 listen to me. Listen to me, okay? You have a date with someone who, who knows Tony. Yes or no, right? Yeah. So why not call Tony and ask for your date's phone number and just ask for her number? You don't have to say anything about, you don't have to say anything, just say, hey, what's Jen's Tony, phone number? Tony won't give me her number. Tony has what? to call her. What? She doesn't want, she doesn't want Tony giving out her number until you know, so she knows who, who it is and so she knows that for a while. If you have a date with her, why wouldn't she want you to have her number? No, I don't know. Okay, so you have a date people with do someone all, who People do all kinds of weird things. Lauren, okay, Lauren, listen. You're going on a date with someone tonight, right? And they, I'm assuming that you have her address so that you can pick her up, or else you're meeting somewhere mutually, but you'd have to give That's her a reason. That's what we were going to do. We were, we were going to meet somewhere. Okay, so you're going to meet somewhere, so I'm assuming that you're going to have to call her anyway. You, she would assume that you would 
be calling her anyway to say, hey, you know, I'm out front of Walmart, um, here I am, or whatever. So if that's the case, then you'd need her number anyway. And if you're going on a date with her, she'd have no problem with you having her phone number. You're going on a date. She didn't give me her number. I did it on the did it through Tony. If Tony has Tony her can, number, can call her. What? Tony is the one that has to call her. But I was just gonna meet her someplace. Well have Tony give her your number. No, I, I get enough people that know my number. Lauren, you're playing games, okay? Listen to me. You no, I'm not playing games. games. I'm not going to put anybody on a three-way that way they don't know what the hell is going on. You sound like you have a mouthful of shit, and I cannot understand you. I said I'm not going to put anybody on three-way when they don't know what the hell is going on. They don't need to know what's going on. If you're canceling your date, just say, hey, you know, I'm not feeling too well. Um, I'm, I'm canceling the date. And that's all you have to do. There's nothing about this going on. If that's what you're doing, then that's what you're doing. And if you were serious, then that would show me that you're serious. Would you cancel your date with the therapist if Lauren cancels his date? If Lauren cancels his date on three-way, I will call the therapist on three-way as well and cancel my date. Well, there you go. Why'd you make a date to begin with? No, no, no. It's not why I could say the same to you. It's not about why. It's about if you cancel yours on three-way, I will call and cancel mine on three-way. Okay, but I can't I can't do it with my phone like that. I can't call Tony and have us be on three-way because my phone doesn't do that. I don't have a Lauren, smartphone anymore, remember? Lauren, you have done it before. You can do it. You have done it before. You've done I, didn't, it. I didn't call Emma. Emma called me. So I can't do it unless I call. That's the only way I can do a three-way on the burn phone. Okay, so while you're on the phone right now... We've had to do it with Mom before, remember? We've had to do it with Mom before. Okay, so immediately hang up and call me, and then I'll call Emma. We'll be on three-way, and then you'll immediately call Tony. Okay. You have five seconds to call me back. Immediately. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, all right. Five seconds from now. All right. Yes, Lauren. Why are you doing this? Why am I doing what? Why are you doing this to us? Lauren, what am I doing to us? You're trying to kill us. Lauren, you have tried so many times to kill us. I'm just finishing it. Lauren, you... Lauren, I, there, I have my entire family telling me... Against me. Lauren, they heard you call me a pathetic bitch, a piece of shit, and a cunt. I, I don't know how you figure they're going to be cheering you on. I can't fucking believe this. Fucking... Are you crying? No, I'm fucking smiling, a big goddamn smile. Because you, you want to fucking cheat on me. Why are you crying? I'm in love with you, Ramona. You don't see that? I'm begging you to fucking give me the chance to show you the person I am. You're telling me you're going to cheat on me. Well, why are you crying? You have always believed in me. Why would you stop? Why would you stop when the therapist comes along? <laughs> okay, Lauren, give me five minutes. I gotta take this. I'll call you back. I will call you back in five. All right.
for days. Because that's not what he wants. Well, it was what I wanted at the time. He even told you he was a, he was tempted to kiss you when he wiped your mouth off, which is something he shouldn't be doing anyway. You shouldn't be allowing him to wipe your mouth off when you have a boyfriend anyway. It's Lord. just not right. This shit is not right, Ramona. You cannot tell me it's right because it is not right. I can tell you it's right because it is right. Listen. It is not right. When you have a boyfriend, you don't let some other guy take you out to dinner and wipe your mouth off. Again. We have been going on two hours of this phone conversation. Two hours that I've been on the phone with you today. Not one time have you asked about my knee and how my surgery went. That was just yesterday. Not I one time. I to know. I not to know yesterday. Time, not one time. Okay, yeah, you want to know, but you didn't ask. Because yesterday you were too busy. Yesterday I woke up to text messages saying that if I didn't, if I didn't call you, then we were broken up. That's what I woke up to on the morning of my surgery. Messages saying that if I didn't call you, we were broken up. And then when I got home from my surgery, doped up completely on on um, anesthesia, the messages I got, well, you didn't call me, so it's over. So those are the kind of messages that I got from you. Now, as because, I was uh, saying, You as, keep them confusing me with this, uh, these new guys that you're bringing in. See, again, you it have to keep doing to- that. It goes back to you. It's all about what you want. You've not asked yeah, me about I don't want I don't want to be confused about what you're doing. I'm not confusing you. I am saying I want to go and see people who are in my state. I'm not being confusing about that. I want to be in your state with you. Okay, but Lauren, you're not listening to me. You haven't been fair to me, so don't tell me you have. Again, as I was saying, say one. Not ask me about the surgery. Thing two, I am saying to you what I want, but you're not listening. Thing three, it doesn't matter what I want because you want what you want, and that's what's going to happen in your world. You don't want me? Lord, I want to be with people who are in my state who are showing me healthy habits, who are showing me that they've got their life together, that they've got their situations handle, that they don't have issues with drinking, that they don't have issues with anger. I don't have issues with drinking anymore at all. I, mean, I still don't even care to have a beer. That they're not angry and getting violent. That they have good jobs and that they take care of themselves. That they have a situation where they could take care of me. That, they ha- that they're in a situation where they're not, where we can live anywhere in the world that we want to live and where we can travel. That they are mm-hmm. mentally healthy that they do take care of their bodies and that they're not smoking three packs of cigarettes a day. Oh, That's what I want. Still. You never you never had a problem with me smoking before. Lauren, <laughs> you're going to do what you're going to do. I'm not going to try and stop you from smoking. I'm not going to try and stop you from smoking. But I don't want to be hacking up a lung. I'm already hacking up a lung from the damn tooth they had down my throat for the surgery you still haven't asked me about. And I don't like that feeling, so I certainly don't want to be inhaling. Yeah. Can I ask you about it when you never give me a chance to ask you about it? When you've been on the phone for two hours. All right. How was your surgery? Because I wanted to know yesterday. Okay, well, you didn't ask me yesterday. All you mm-hmm. said yesterday was, well, since you didn't call me, it's mm-hmm. over. You know, you never called me, but you found time to call Emma for your surgery. First of all, she called me, and I answered. She said that you can. She said that you can, she told me that you called her. I don't know. She called me. I could have. She could have called me, and then I called her immediately back. I don't know. I, I think that might have been what happened. Who cares? Who gives a shit? I talked to Emma for a few minutes yesterday. Who cares? That's not the point here, Lauren. The point is that you're not... Why didn't you call me? Let me know that you still want us. Because, Lauren, you were not the focus of yesterday. No, the focus... I mean, uh, the focus was supposed to be on your knee. And that was the focus yesterday. uh, You had to put that therapist there. That's right. That was the focus yesterday. And yes, I was... You were flirting with him on the phone. You didn't on the phone. As I was saying, that was the focus yesterday, and I am glad that I had someone there who literally could pick me up and put me in the wheelchair and pick me up and put me in the car. 
Because I have, because I cannot. You shouldn't have done that. You better shouldn't have done that. Who? The nurses or your brother or the 10 friends that you had. No, the nurses could not come home with me. That is not the point. The point is that you're not listening to what I'm saying to you that I've been saying for two hours and yesterday. And just don't want to listen to anything that I've said to you. You haven't for the longest time. Then, Lauren, go be with you someone who can put to these you. guys in our way. Lauren, continuously. Then, Lauren, if I'm not listening, go be with someone who will be with you. Yeah, because I, I want to be with you. And I want to show you the real person I am, but you don't know why, because you, you constantly put a threat there. Why, is it, why do you need to constantly put a threat there with us? I am not putting a threat. I am putting friends. I am trying to have a life down here. You need to go try to have a life up there. Friends. Friends. You make me understand how this therapy is going to be a friend. When you're, you know, when you're sending uh, messages to Emma about his moist lips, you know, taking a picture of his butt and sending the picture of his butt to your mom, how do you, how do you really think that's going to be construed? Then, Lauren, if it's going to be construed bad, then go find someone who will not do those things. Do you want me? Well, you're not here. You you don't have the things that I'm wanting from someone uh, in a relationship. Uh, you're not willing to do those things. You don't have those things. Uh, money? I have my you know, own money. You all of a sudden turn into a money girl? First of all, I have my own money. That's thing one. Thing two. No, no, no. no, 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 no it's important that he has that escalade. As I was saying, let's clear up something because I don't like to hear any guy talk about women as oh, you're all about money. You just want it for his money, Lauren. And that's what I've that's what I've said since the since day one. Hang on one second. I want you to cancel this date. I deserve to give you the three months, and you deserve to get the three months from me. Lauren, I deserve to. Have Lord, I just have to have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten decades of a good relationship, and I don't think it would come from you because you're so hung up on three months instead of three years, three decades, three centuries. You're not hung up on being a good man permanently. You're hung up on showing me. I'm hung up on being a good man to you permanently. You're not going to be able to see what kind of man I am until you meet me in person. Lord, what I you're not going to be able to see that. What I have seen over the phone is not something I want. You don't, I mean, you don't want a guy to having to be pissed off? Show me that I'm important enough to meet. As I was saying, Lauren. But you've been showing me that. You're listening to everything the therapist says about you, and that guy doesn't even have any ethical values of his own. Otherwise, he wouldn't be getting personal with his clients. You would have actually saw the look on Allie's face when I told her how personal the therapist got with you. Okay, that's great. That's great that your therapist, who I've never met, who I will never meet, has an opinion on someone who she'll never meet. That's great that your that your therapist has an opinion on someone she's never even talked to. That's one. On somebody, that, on somebody that's in the, her same profession. Lauren, if that is the case, and if all of these things bother you, I am telling you, go on your date, go find someone no, who won't. I'm not, I'm not going on my date, and I want you to cancel yours. As I was saying, go find someone who will not do these things if they bother you. What bothers me is you're not telling them no. Lauren, I don't want to tell them no anymore. That is not what I want to do. What I want to do is be young and be free and be happy um, and not worry about the fact that I am constantly getting abused because I have friends or abused because I talk to my grandmother or abused because I want to watch a Lifetime movie. I just want to enjoy my life. Enjoy it with me. 100% like you Lord, used to do. I have as you like to say, you've been with me for nine months. And in those nine months, the only enjoyment I got were a few laughs here and there and abuse every single solitary Friday and Saturday. So you're going to quit. 
you're gonna quit on me when you when you you're afraid that uh, that I'm right that I'm a changed person that I know that I can go three months and I can go three decades with anything I can go first. I am. Lauren, I can't. I'm sure your therapist, so-called therapist, says I'm a good person and you know it. Lauren, I don't know it because I've not seen any you know, corroboration. You give me, give me these three months to show you and we meet and then you, then you tell me that I'm not a good person. Lauren, I have seen you at what you consider your best, and I have seen you not at your worst. I've seen you at pretty bad, but not at your worst, because we're not face-to-face to to where I could see you at your worst. The only thing you would if we're face-to-face and I got frustrated, the only thing that you would see would be frustration in my face. If I were to hit something, it would be going outside and hitting wood, and I'd say, I was stupid, I shouldn't have done that. Lauren. I hit people. I don't. I don't believe in hitting someone unless they attack someone that, that I love physically. Then I don't even like hitting anyone. Lauren, I know you've hit your dogs before, so I mean, I, I spank them a little bit. I don't even spank them now because of, even, because of you. Okay, how do you spank someone by not hitting them? What What is this? Uh, I you hit your dog. I. Spank them. Spank is not a euphemism for hit. It just means you repeatedly hit them. I don't even... I, I tap them on the ass. I don't even do that anymore. You did not tap them on the ass. You hit them. Okay, I hit them on the ass, but I don't hit them hard. Okay, and Lauren... And I don't do it anymore anyway. Because of you. Okay, Lauren, you're trying to find euphemisms... I mean, it's like saying I didn't. Yeah, I didn't make me look bad. I mean, you're trying to make me look bad. You're doing exactly what Barry's trying to do. Make me look bad. Lauren, you're actually. Why doing are that you doing Lauren, that? Lauren, I have. Lauren, listen to me. I have not hundreds, but tens of people in my life, dearly, who have loved me all my life who have loved me most of my life, or who have come into my life and not asked for anything from me, but just wanted to give. I have a bunch of people like that in my life, people who I respect and care about deeply. All I want to do is give you the real me. As I was saying, and all of these people now have found out about you, and not one of them is supportive of it. All of them are showing me reasons why I need to run, Things that I was thinking about before, but now it's like, well, it's kind of difficult to to ignore it because whereas I could put things out of my mind before and just go on, now I'm confronted with the fact that people know. And not one person, Lauren. These people, because think about it, these people don't want anything bad for me. They don't want me. They don't want me to miss out. You know, it's, it's especially my parents. My parents don't want me to miss out on a good relationship. My my parents don't want that at all. My brothers don't want me to miss out on a good relationship. They all want me to be happy. All I want is for you to be happy, too, but I want to show you that I can make you happy. Lauren, Lauren, please, please let me finish. These people do not want harm for me. They want me to be happy. They, if, if I was, if I was with... A, I don't know, a guy who cleaned bathroom toilets for a living, but he was a good guy, and they saw how he respected me, and they saw him treat me well, and they and they and they knew that he wanted to care about me and care for me. They would be happy. It's not about the money. I mean, the money's nice. I have money. It's nice. It's nice to have. At the end of the day, it's a security blanket, and it feels good to go to sleep knowing that you have money in your account. That's a great feeling, but it's not about the money because at the end of the day, I don't, I don't want to lay in bed and cuddle up with my money and I, it, because, first of all, I'm a germaphobe, and that would be gross, but second of all, that's not what I want to do at the end of the day. So what I'm saying to you is that these people who are in my life, people who I trust, people who I care about, People who care about me, people who I know for a fact don't want any harm to me. And not one of them is saying, Lauren is a good guy. In fact, all of them are saying the exact opposite. All of them are working with me. 
is that the the they're not even like I mean everybody's concerned about my surgery, but more so than my surgery, more so than me going under anesthesia. When you go under anesthesia, they ask if you have a living will because you might die under anesthesia. They they're you not thinking that? about that as much as they're thinking about this thing that you I did with you, and that is where everybody's concern is. Although they don't get me wrong. They did good. Everyone came to the hospital and was very concerned, but now they're back. The difference is, is they don't know me. You do. You've seen the frustrations that I've had to deal with that I've gotten through because of you. Lauren, let me tell you. You were there to help me through them. You're you're the one that got me to this point where where I know I can go these three months and I know I can go three decades. I know I can go three centuries treating you good. Treating you like I want to treat you. Treat you like you deserve to be treated. Lauren, my... I need these three months to show you that. When my family does not need to, quote, know you, my family does not need to see you, my family does not need to know your name, your birth date, your address, anything like that, to know that if somebody calls someone who is supposed to be their girlfriend a bitch, a cunt, a pathetic bitch that they don't want them to be around that person. If I heard somebody call, if I had a daughter and I heard somebody call her that, I don't care if, I don't care if it was the freaking president. If I heard somebody call my daughter a cunt, I would want them gone fast because she doesn't deserve that because she doesn't deserve to be dealing with calling, being called those names. And for the very first time in I my don't want life, to call you names. Okay, I want to be able to love you like you deserve to be loved. Okay, but see, Lauren, you you might you might say that you want that, but that's not what you've done. And here's the thing: I'm not Lauren, holding. That's what you. I'm going to do. Lauren, I'm not that's holding. The difference. I told, yeah. I told you before you know, when Mom said that it woke me up to what the hell I was doing. Lauren. So all because I was you know, upset and frustrated about everybody else, I was treating you wrong. And that woke my ass up. Hey, Lauren, it's nice that you decided to get woken up after nine months, as you like to say. But the fact of the matter is... It's more it's nice to see you quitting on me after nine months. Lauren. I'm a therapist. Lauren, I, I just told you after two months, after the very first time you did that. It should have been a nine months. No, because we should have met a long, long time ago. No, we shouldn't have. Yeah, so you could actually see me in person, so I could see you in person. Then we wouldn't have this hanging over our head that we've never met. He's really not listening to me. He's really, truly not listening to me. You're not listening to me. Anything I say, you're making it null and void. To go, and I need to meet someone. Now, Now, here's the thing. The, the very beginnings of, of the Lauren and Ramona saga, the things that you were doing was, was, was repeatedly texting me and getting drunk. At that point, you hadn't started calling me names. I'll give you credit. You didn't start calling me names until about month three. So from month one or zero, month two, zero to month three, you didn't call me names. And I'll give you credit for that, that you didn't call me a bitch until you had known me for three months. Um, so you would get angry and yes, jealous. Right if I, if, uh, am I going to be able to talk or am I going to just have to hang up and, and just go? Well, and just go to the therapist's house? Wherever I want to. Now, sure. as I was saying... In the beginning, you would message me repeatedly, repeatedly. I'd tell you more. I just want to watch Lifetime movies. It's Friday. I was by myself, laying in my on my couch with my tablet, watching Lifetime movies and eating junk food. That is some, how I sometimes prefer to spend a Friday. And that's what I would do. If I said I was doing that, that's what I was doing every single time. I got accused of doing of going out with people of doing this, of doing that, anything else, anything in the world that I could be accused of, I was accused of. I would wake up with messages. I would go to sleep. I would wake up with a barrage of messages. I went to New York. And what happened when I went to New York? 
On my way to New York, you sent me a penis picture, a picture of your your penis and your face in the picture. And after that, right. and after that, that you asked, as I was saying, after that, you asked me a hundred questions about, about your penis. Is it enough for me? Is it satisfying? Blah, blah, blah. And I was with my girlfriends, all girlfriends. And I was not at my phone. In fact, much of the night I had left my phone in the car. And what happened? The next morning, I got woken up to a bunch of text messages about how because I didn't answer any questions about your penis, that meant that I was cheating on you with someone who I met in a club in New York. That's what I dealt with in the beginning. Month three through, let's say, six was a Lauren who, if I didn't spend, oh, I don't know, eight hours on the phone with him, six hours on the phone with him, four hours on the phone with him every single solitary day, I was accused of not making time, of cheating, of anything that you that you wanted to think of. And that's when you started calling me names. That's when I was called a bitch. That's when I was called a cunt. That's when I was called a piece of shit, a pathetic loser. That's one thing that you called me before. Um, all sorts of things that... I wouldn't even call you, um, but that you called me, and so you put up with a, with a therapist calling you there. As I was saying, and you're exploding, screaming, cursing constantly at me. <laughs> then months six through nine. Well, part of that time I injured my knee. I could count, on, and, and I was laid up with a knee injury. Now, here's the thing. when I, with, with the knee injury, it was a lot of physical therapy, a lot of doctor's appointments. I mean, pretty much almost every single day, there was something going on with my knee, whether it was a physical therapy appointment or doctor's appointment, or the case may be. Sometimes I'd have to, you know, sometimes I'd be in the wheelchair. It bro was wheeling me around all the time. All sorts of different things that meant that I didn't have full mobility as I did before. So what did I do during that time? Sometimes I read, sometimes I talked on the phone with with Nana and with other friends. I tried to catch up on things around the house and certain administrative type tasks, making calls that I needed to do, those types of things. What did Lauren do? Lauren didn't ask, you know, oh, you know, I'm really sorry about your knees, what's going on? Lauren was upset because Lauren wasn't getting attention all the time like he used to because now I have a knee injury and I'm sleeping a lot more. My sleep schedule's messed up, all, all sorts of things. The main theme is that Lauren didn't get what Lauren wanted and Lauren found another reason to explode. So now that we're going into month 10, now Lauren proclaims that he's a changed man and all this stuff is new and he's going to be great and he's going to be super. I just have to tell all the guys in my life who have shown me, in some cases for years, that they are fit to be a healthy, good partner. I just have to tell them that, hey, you know, bye-bye. Don't want anything to do with you. Don't hit on me anymore. I'm going to date this guy in Maine who has now decided almost a year into knowing him that he's going to be a good person. Are you joking? There's a lot of things that we've gone through. There's a lot of different things that have happened. Except that you're saying about me. Different things have happened. For one, I'm not, I, wasn't, I was never used to having anybody be honest with me. Somebody that I hadn't met yet. That was a huge thing. But if you remember back in month one to three, we loved spending time together. We loved it a lot. That's the person that I am. I'm with you. I'm sorry, but I love spending time with you. And I, I love having a good time with you. I love having fun. I love being a good person. It's not my fault when other people come into a picture that I, I'm, that I get threatened by. But all I need to hear is, um, please leave me. I told them no, leave me alone. I have a boyfriend. 
That's when I started getting confused. I just don't need the threats. That's all I've ever asked from you. Just tell the threats to leave you alone. I know you're honest to me. When this therapist came along and you were flirting with him on the phone, with me on the phone, that fucked me up. I can't tell you that it didn't fuck me up. It fucked me up. I never expected that to happen. And the stuff that Emma said that you said. I never expected that. I mean, in the dinner, I, I couldn't believe that he asked you out to dinner. I couldn't believe that you were contemplating it. Well, I'm going out tonight, and you can do whatever you want. You have a date set up. Go on it. Do not stand her up. I'm not going on it. I want you to cancel a date. I'm not going to cancel tonight. I'm not going to cancel tonight. What? Why won't you cancel tonight? Because I want to go. You want to know what? Because I want to go. You want to go spend time with another guy? Lauren... I want to go spend time with a guy who's respectful, who's kind, and who... Spend time with me. Something you haven't done for too much. I have talked to you on the phone. Why are you killing us? Lauren, I have talked to you on the phone for hours and hours and hours. How long did you talk to the therapist today? How long have you been on... Did you talk to him on the phone? Maybe 15, 20 minutes. I have talked to you... Maybe 15, 20 minutes. You gave him time, and you couldn't give me time. Lord, I'm on the phone with you right now. But here's the thing, Lord. If somebody is not giving you time, why are you trying to force them to be with you? Why am I trying to force you? I shouldn't have to be trying to force you. You're the one who started going out with these fucking guys. Lord, maybe that's the one that cheated, not me. I didn't invite this guy into my life. I only have a girl into my life. Lord, maybe that's, we're together. Lord, maybe that's a sign that we're not right that's for each other. That you cheat? Lord, maybe that's that, a sign. Is that a sign that you cheat? First of all, I've never cheated on anybody who I've ever been. Really? Really? You went out to, uh, to dinner. I'll do a fucking dinner date with this guy. This same guy that you're saying you're going to go out to a date with tonight over to his fucking house. Are you not hearing yourself? This same guy you went on a dinner date with. When we were together, you cheated on me. And you want to see how bad of a person I am? Why would you even possibly think about going on a date with somebody that's supposed to be professional and ruin to every ethic value that he's supposed to have in his, possession, in his profession and get personal with a, with a client? And are you texting him right now? How much time are you giving this guy? Lauren? You sure what the fucking problem is, but you don't want to admit it. You just want to blame everything on me. It's my fault that you had to see that therapist. It's my fault that that therapist asked you out to dinner. It's my fault that you you went on the dinner date with him. It's my fault because you want to go hang out with him at his fucking house tonight alone so that he can put his fucking lips on yours. Are you fucking kidding me? It's probably my fault that you saw the doctor naked. It's my fault that the doctor saw you naked. Oh, isn't that Romana? I never once said it was your fault that the doctor and I saw each other naked. You cheated on me. I didn't cheat on you. You did too. You okay, then, Lord, if I cheated you on told me you were going to bring your brother. You lied to me. Lord, if I you told me you were going to bring your brother. You did it. Lord, I, first of all, if I cheated on you, then leave. Don't be with a cheater. If you think I cheated on you, then leave. How can you say you didn't? You, you lied to me, too. You told me you were going to bring your brother, and you didn't. Okay, so, Lord. You didn't you, tell me about it. Okay, so, How Lord, are you so perfect? So, I'm a cheater, and I'm a liar. Then leave the cheating liar. Do you want me, or do you want this fucking therapist? Lauren, leave... I want, uh, just tell me an answer. 
Well, apparently I must want the therapist because if I'm going out on a, quote, date with him, end quote. That you call it a date? He asked you out to dinner and I opened his house. Lauren, then if I'm doing... Why were you on the phone while you had a boyfriend? That's Lauren, respectable. That's I'm real respectable. Okay, as I was saying, if I'm doing all these things, then leave. Go be with Lee... Uh, not Lisa. Uh, Jenny. Go be with Jenny. No. And go on your date. your date, too. I'm not canceling on anybody. I want you to cancel. You never should have even set it up. And I'm never. saying to you, you never. but I'm not. I'm saying go out with her and enjoy yourself. I'm not. In the, uh, you plan on kissing this guy tonight? No, because I don't kiss on second dates either. He's going to sit next to you. What's he going to do? You don't even know this fucking guy. Lauren, go out. I could say the I same thing. You don't even it. know this fucking girl. You don't even know her. I could say the same thing, but instead I'm saying go out. and I'm not going over her, her, her house. Yeah, but she's getting in the car with you. You already did that with the therapist. Lauren. You're supposed to be riding with your brother. Lauren, go out. Do not stand her up. Fine. You go to the therapist house and we're not breaking up. We're not breaking up. We deserve these three months. That I know that I can do it. I just don't know that you can't say no to these other guys. But for three months, my, my head's going to be a mess until you tell me that, that you can go through know, three months without fucking, without fucking saying yes to dates on with guys. Go. You want to see me at my best? Give me your best. Go out with her. And Give me what you gave me when we started. As I was saying, go out with her and enjoy yourself. And you go to the therapist's house. Yes. And you have dinner. Make goddamn sure he does not kiss you. You and I are not broken up. We're giving this a fair shot. Like we should have had. Like we had in the beginning. So we can actually see what each other is really like. 100% you and me. Is that a deal? We'll see what happens, Juan. I'm going to hop off of here and go get ready. You don't, you don't need to dress up in something sexy either. I'm not dressing up in anything sexy. I'm having jeans and a t-shirt on. Well, and I, I can dress myself, you know. But, yeah, but you don't need to do anything to turn them on. If he chooses to get turned on by what I wear, then that's on him. Well, wear fat lady clothes. Wear fat lady clothes? Yeah. Or, or something real ugly. <laughs> so now you're telling me how to dress? I'm, uh, I'm trying to be fucking funny here. Lauren, go have fun, okay? You just laugh at that shit. Well, I mean, you're telling me how to dress and telling me to wear fat lady clothes. Uh, I was trying to make a joke about, you know, like you, know, like you don't remember about the diaper thing. That was a fucking joke. You laughed at it when I said it. I it know. But, uh, well, it was I, a joke. I don't know why you twist that around. I didn't. We both know you used to get turned yeah. on by the thought of me and my diaper. We haven't talked about me and my diaper. I didn't get turned on by it. You I said you wanted funny. to have sex with me while I wore it. No, I did not. Yes, you did. I said I was going to change your diaper for you. I was trying to be funny about saying that. You they don't have to change their own diaper. You said that you wanted, first of all, you talked about changing my diaper and then having sex. And then you talked about <laughs> having sex through my diaper. No, I did not. Yes, you did, Lauren. <laughs> I didn't say about anything about having sex through your diaper. Lauren, you did. Like hell I did. I know about it more. I didn't say that. 
And then what did you? What are you saying that you said? Because I remember every time I'd come home from work, you'd say, well, pin your diaper for me. I, I, I was trying to be funny. And you laughed then. And I, I still laugh. I, I still laugh at that. What I said before was, I'll change your diaper, and then, and then we can have sex. <laughs> you know, take your, I mean, I take your diaper off, and I, and I clean you up, and then we have sex. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I wasn't saying I'd put another diaper on you and we have sex through your diaper. Well, you know what I meant. It's difficult. Well, I, that that would be impossible, but you know what I meant. Have sex well, that's what I was trying to think of. That would be impossible to do. But you know what I mean? Like, have, 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 have my diaper as a part of our sex life. That's what you were saying. No, the other thing I was saying was I would change the diaper, I would take the diaper off, and I would clean you up, and then we could have sex. That's what I was saying. <laughs> that nobody else knew anything about you wearing a diaper. I don't know why you would even tell Emma that. Don't tell her personal shit like that. Well, I well, okay. I I, to, I didn't tell her in a douchebaggy kind of way. I told her that you were. That you thought that it was... What did I tell her? I think you told her that I thought it was a sexy or something like that. Yeah, that you... <clears throat> Hold on a second. <clears throat> that you... <clears throat> and I told her that in a, like, you know, like I just, you know, nobody else, I would imagine, would think that. I was, um... You know, like basically, basically that, you know, I told her it, factually, I told her matter of fact that nobody else, nobody else knows that I wear a diaper. Nobody else is that bro. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. well, they, that's why my mouth dropped when Emma said that. Well, I, and I told her that nobody else here, here meaning where I am, you know, friends and family. So nobody else knows that. I wear one, and I told you, and I had said it as, not only does he know, but he also finds it sexy that I wear a diaper. I, I, I find that more funny as hell than I do sexy. I, I think it's just funny, because it's, and, and I, it's special to me, because you shared something really secretive with me, and I love that. And I didn't tell, I haven't told anybody. That's why I couldn't believe that Emma knew it. But she turned it around. She oh, turned it around. Remember, wait, 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 wait. I remember something else that you said. You asked me when I, I can't remember if you, I can't remember which version of this you said, but you'll remember when you said, when I come up, um, when I, when I come to meet you, can I wear only, <laughs> can I wear only my diaper and a coat over it? When I come to meet you, I don't remember saying that. I I remember saying uh, telling you to wear a diaper on the plane if it makes you comfortable. Yeah, and you, said, and, you wear, you and, and you said and just wear a coat over. You knew I was going to wear it on the plane. I'm a German. Yeah, yeah. I bought him. I, uh, man, maybe I maybe I did say that because it would have been fucking hilarious. <laughs> because you wanted me to. You, you're a goofy. <laughs> You wanted me to wear just my diaper and a coat, and I'd show up in just my diaper and a coat. Uh, that would have that made me laugh my ass off if you really did. I would've, that would have been so fucking hilarious. I wouldn't believe that you would do it anyway, but it would've been, that would be fucking hilarious. Can you spank me while I wear my diaper and then take it off and have sex with me? I don't remember saying, well, I wanted to spank you anyway in a, in a nice way. Well, I didn't mean... You I, I don't remember anything with a diaper. I don't remember anything with that. I didn't mean you Rosco spanked me. I just meant you gently spanked me while I was wearing my diaper. And that I you... I'd, I'd much rather have you, have you diaper off than I would on when I spank you. Wait, what? I said I'd rather have you have, a, have your diaper off than I would on when I spank you. Oh, my hand could actually touch your sexy ass. No, I'll show up in my diaper where, having a pacifier and just like a, like a <laughs> trench coat. <laughs> uh, I just thought about that, too. And it just popped in my mind if you showed up in your diaper, I'd have a pacifier there for you. <laughs> 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 
That's fucking funny shit. <laughs> Maybe one of them little plastic uh, key ring things. <laughs> yeah, like that. Come and, on, I'll, baby. <laughs> and I'll run around in my diaper with a pacifier in my mouth. <laughs> oh, that'd be fucking hilarious. I don't know, I really wouldn't want to do it because it would also be extremely embarrassing too. Well, no one else would see. No, well, at the airport? Well, I wasn't thinking about the airport, but... Uh, that's what I was thinking when you get off the plane. And you a pacifier and a plastic set of key rings. <laughs> oh, those key rings. Oh, okay, those key rings. <laughs> uh, yeah. That would be fucking hilarious, but extremely embarrassing. Well, I, I think that's a way to get kicked out of the airport. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, that would be a really good way to get uh, kicked out of the airport and probably arrested. Because they probably wonder what was inside of the diaper. But you know what? How Emma turned it around was that she said that that, that was was about the diaper thing. That was when you, you started having uh, different uh, second thoughts about me and, and thinking that you know there's something wrong because you like me wearing a diaper. And no. It be because of my charge. And she turned it around. What did do with your charge? Uh, and plus, I I figured I didn't think that you being attracted to me wearing my diaper would be any kind of um, like I, I didn't think you being attracted to me while I wore a diaper was anything that would associate with your charge. Not at all. I, I don't know if she heard me wrong, but I mean, what I what I was saying to her and what I still say is that you are one of totally three people who know, including me, who know that I wear one on planes and stuff like that just because, you know, I'm a germaphobe and I don't want to touch, you know, I, yeah, germs. Yeah, I, mean, you know, I don't, don't want to be in the damn public restroom. But I figured I'd tell you because I figured you'd have something interesting to say and you did and, you know, you came up with a way to sexualize my diaper and that's, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's fine. She, she, she turned it around as, as, as a, a kid thing. Well, no, she you did. still wear diapers, though. People do. No, I'm not. There are people that you don't want to tell. Well, I mean, you know, like, I get, well, kids tend to not wear diapers, certainly not like adolescents and teenagers and whatnot. Yeah, no, I thought it was um, funny as hell. And, and, and I, thought, I thought it was special because you shared it with me. It is, and um, and 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 I don't, you know, I don't, I don't fault Emma at all because I think that she, you know, I think she must have heard it wrong. I think probably the way that I said it because I was angry at the time, and I'm like, he's the only fucking one who knows about me and my diaper, you know. And <laughs> you don't really think that I would put something out like that. So no, 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 no. I just meant, like, like, he's like, well, okay, he doesn't trust me, but, like, I told you that about me that literally no one knows. Well, I see, mean, that, that, mm -hmm. that, might, uh, that might have been part of my problem because I didn't want other guys coming in and knowing things that only are between me and you. Or, or secretive things like that. I don't, they don't, don't, intimate things. And well, I don't, I don't want you, you to be close to other guys like that. And that, I mean, that might be part of the problem that I had was because of, because, well, because you and I shared so much. Well, you and bro are the only ones who, who know that. I, that I wear a diaper sometimes, and I think that Bro has probably done a very good job of forgetting it. Good. I haven't, I haven't forgot it because we've, we've had some fucking hilarious times in the way diaper. Like when you overflowed a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. I, I still love it, that shit. It's fucking funny as hell. I mean, I do it. It sucks that you had to. 
like the shit off. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, well, you know, so it goes. But I mean, it made life a lot easier, and um, and it just made things more simple for me to wear one occasionally. And now with the knee injury, um, it makes it life- work. Uh-huh. <laughs> now with a knee injury, you have a closet full. You have two closets full. No, I don't have that many. But no, it, it just makes life easier. And, you know, like I said, I mean, you know, I didn't judge you for getting turned on by it. Um, okay, I then, the, that's the way Emma turned it. Say again? Yeah, that, that's the way Emma turned it around. That you, you would judge me thinking that I got turned on by it. I, I partially blame myself for that, for how I, for how I stated it, as if like you know, how you know, as if it's something like you don't trust me, but I told you this thing about me. So I, I definitely think for sure that you know that's how it probably came off. But you know, I mean, you have a diaper fetish. It is what it is, and it doesn't. You know what I mean? I don't have a diaper fetish. I have, I have a fetish with having fun with you. Wearing a diaper. Yeah, we, 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 but we laugh about it. Yeah, I mean, it is funny, and I and I do laugh about it. And like I that's, said, I mean, I... That's part of me and you. That's that's part of our time together. That's, that's, that stuff is, is... It means something to me. Because we share shit, shit like that. And it's, it's important to me to share shit like that. And... and in, uh, let me explain another thing to you too, because you just said something that made me realize something else. Is, is when, let's see, when we uh, when you started not spending as much time with me, I got affected by that because I didn't know anything about you, and I was used to knowing stuff that you were doing all the time, and you knew stuff that I was doing all the time, and I, I think that affected me. Because it was just that closeness that that we had, spending all the time, all that time together, that bothered me when we when we didn't, and I didn't know anything. I felt like I was outside of your life. But like, and it explains why I started getting all worried and paranoid. And <laughs> well, I didn't really stop to think about. Uh, how much you trusted me with stuff. Go out and have some fun like with me. And, you know, like, you know, if you, I don't want to encourage your drinking, but, I mean, if you end up having a couple, you know, just. I'm not having any. I don't even, I don't even have hanking at all for a beer. I don't even care about it. I, I've gotten so far away from now that I don't care to have any. I don't, I don't even care to go over and have any with Tony. Which is a good thing because he lives further, a lot further away now. So I don't even want Roy bringing alcohol up here to drink it himself. I told him that and he's kept it away. And I told Uncle Clyde that to make sure that Roy didn't do it. Well, listen, I, I, have- I know, you get it. You can go over his house, right? I'm gonna get ready. It's gonna take me forever. So, um, you know, just go enjoy yourself, have a good time, and uh, don't stay the night over there, though. I'm not. I'm not staying the night. Almost me. Yeah, I know. I, I have zero intention of staying the night. Plus, I have medicines I'm gonna have to take when I get back. Okay. But yeah, we're, so um, we're back together. I think we can, we just need to talk. We understand our stuff instead of everybody else talking for us. Well, we we can talk. We can talk more later, um, depending on the time I get home, or maybe tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. I, guess I right. can't text you past ten. So if you get home and it's after ten. Text me if you want to talk, because I, I will get up from no problem at all. All right. 
Okay. All right. Good night. All right. I love you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.